What's up guys, I Apple Tuber here and today I have a very cool video for you guys. I am going to go ahead and show you guys how to get Mac OS onto your iPhone. It is very nice, very similar. You will not need a jailbreak for this. The only requirement is to have a computer. This only works right now, just mentioning it once again, this only works right now on the later devices from iPhone 6, 6s, iPhone 7 and the 7 plus the devices which are the iPhone 4s, 5 those are not working unfortunately as of right now he is working on them but not right now so guys before starting and show you guys how to get them let me just go ahead and show you guys everything about it so I do already have it so here guys as you can see the first startup is the first startup is so nice with the Apple logo very nice looking I really do like that and it will ask you for your touch ID or to enter your device password so now as you can see guys here it is how it looks very nice looking with the Mac OS background which comes with the Mac OS computers this is the one which comes and as you can see these icons as well turn and wiggle and flip out this is very nice you even have the option to change the brightness as you can see you can go ahead and increase and decrease them there's a bit like issue with it right now to adjust them but you will get the hang of it don't worry about that you can as well control the sound and to mention guys this is the latest beta out there is more betas coming out with installing the plus plus apps and a lot more but for right now these are the only thing which is out right now so as you can see there's the weather there's the clock as you can see there's as well a screen recorder there's i file and as well night shift is here so if your device doesn't have night shift for some other reasons you can go ahead and control night shift with this once you go ahead and enable them as you can see night shift is there for you guys to go ahead and adjust for your eyes to see so that was it with most of them now let me go ahead and show you guys so here as you can see here is a safari click on safari loads very nice looking with the control of maximize minimize and closing very nice looking let me go ahead and close it there is the app store which is currently being worked on so this is not working as of right now but he did show some pictures that did show that it is working soon there is as well the launch pad which is on the mac OS. if you know about mac OS, it is a very nice looking launch pad as you can see very very nice looking launch pad for you guys to check out and there's also the settings so let's go to the settings you can change the icon animation so as you can see it is like now it's a vertical flip you can change it to curl you can change it to horizontal flip let's go ahead and put it on horizontal flip and for the team let's just keep it as a my os team you can even change it to android or ios let me go ahead and delete this so i can go ahead and show you guys how to actually be able to install this so now get onto your computers and follow the video and just before forgetting guys make sure that you have your computer your device and get your charging cable any type of charging cable for right now i'm using this one you can also go ahead and use your the one which comes with your iphone go ahead and connect it to your device and make sure that your your laptop actually recognizes your device so which means you will actually need itunes onto your computer so make sure that you also have itunes installed already now get onto your computer and follow the video okay guys now that we're onto your computer the first thing you want to do is just go to the description click on the first link to take it right here to your windows browser if you're on mac os it also works on mac os so it doesn't matter windows and mac so here guys the first thing you will need is cd impactor if you don't have cd impactor you need to install and also you will also need to make sure that you need to update it i'll show you guys how to do that so if you're on windows click on windows if you're on mac click on mac as easy as that let me just go ahead and show you guys i already have it but let me just go ahead and click on it windows will ask you if you want to save it click on yes save and save it to your desktop for easier access now that we have CD Impactor let me go ahead and show you guys the IP that you will need which is my OS 1.4 is the latest beta so guys here you just want to click on download click on download it will go ahead and open up a new page close it and then click on save as simple as this you now have the IP let me go ahead and minimize this so as you can see here is CD Impactor here is my OS so first of all go ahead and open up CD Impactor go ahead and open up the impactor.exe make sure that it's in the folder it's better if it's in the folder as you can see it already recognizes my device here as you can see it's an iphone 7. so next thing is just going ahead and dragging and dropping it right here so drag this hold this my os 1.4 ipa and drag and drop it right here and then it will ask you to enter your email login just one thing if you haven't used CD Impactor for a while, there's something that you need to do before doing all these. So you will actually need to revoke your certificate. How to do that? Just click on Xcode. Once again, only, only if, if it says some sort of an error, you will need to do this. If not, don't do it. Click on Xcode, click on revoke certificate. 
then you will need to enter your Apple ID with password. It will go ahead and revoke the certificate and then it will allow you to install or else it will not install guys. I'm telling you guys already, please listen. If it's giving you any type of error message, you will need to do this. As I already have done it, I will not do it now. Click on close. So once again, go ahead and drag and drop it right here. Now let me go ahead and enter my Apple ID. And also let me go ahead and enter my uh, password which is the apple id password it is 100 percent safe nothing to worry about so as you can see right there guys we have already entered the password it has already it is now everything correct so now it will go ahead and sign the ipa onto your devices so as you can see now it is going over the framework and all that one more thing to mention guys which i did have an issues before so i'm just telling you guys now to know as well if it's actually taking a lot of time to install this there has to be an issue and that issue is that it's actually already installed it and it's on your device. So make sure that you check your device to see if the app is on your device or not. As you can see for me right now, it is saying generating application map. But as of right now, as you can see here, so as you can see guys, it is still saying that it's generating application map, but I already have it on my device. As you can see, it is untrusted developer, which means that, that I did just install right now. So if this happens for you guys, I don't know why is it happening to me. I don't know if it's an issue which is worldwide, if it's only for me, I don't know. But if this happens for you guys, that means it is already done and you can go ahead and close it. So you don't need to wait because this is gonna take hours and hours to do and it is not gonna stop. It's stuck, it's an issue with Cydium Pactor, I'm sure. But if it happens for you guys, just go ahead and close it. As you can see, go ahead and close it because we already have it on our device right here. Let me go ahead and focus this on my iPhone. As I already mentioned, as I already shown as well, when you click on this, go ahead and say it's an untrusted developer. Go ahead to your settings, go to general, go to general, scroll down to profile and device management. And you want to go to your developer app, click on it, click on trust, trust, and now it is verified. That means it will go ahead and open it. So let's go ahead and open up. So here, as you can see guys, it will go ahead and ask you to register. If you don't have an account, go ahead and just register. Just enter your name email and age just put any age you want doesn't matter it shouldn't be accurate and then just go ahead let me go ahead and do it now so once you enter all this now it will go ahead and ask you to enter a password just make sure that you guys know about this enter please guys just for your own security enter any password you want it should not be a password which is just enter a password that you don't use typically just enter any password and save that password into your notes so you don't forget it and once again guys it's, you can also go ahead and use your touch ID, so it's not a big of a deal, but just go ahead and enter any random pass. Click on continue and then it will ask you to use your touch ID. Let me go ahead and touch ID and it will go ahead and allow me to, and to ask you if you want to access your location. For me, I don't want it, so I'll click on don't allow. I also recommend to click on don't allow. So as you can see, now we have access to my OS onto my device. So guys, that was it with today's video. A very simple, but a very cool video that I hope that you guys do enjoy this video. If you do guys, Please drop a thumbs up for the video. Let's get to 200 likes on this video. Let's go ahead and smash it. If you want another video tomorrow, hit 200 likes by today and we will have another video tomorrow. And one more thing as well, guys, make sure to subscribe that you don't miss out. We're very close to 30K subs. A lot more giveaways on the way for that. So make sure that you subscribe and also follow me on Twitter. Hope that you guys have a great day. I, Apple, Tuber here, signing off. <laughs>